Guys, and just to say something, this is going to be part two of the first review. I can rhyme. Yes! Woo! Because sometimes my iPad runs out of storage and goes dead. So it's like, end the video and then I have to publish it in two parts because my editing app is, yeah, terrible. So now this is going to be the second part. I hope you enjoy it and yeah, let's get into the video now. So guys, we are back and after the actual last time, we just finished off reviewing this and this in comparison, but for some reason, we forgot the actual blaster. So for now, we're I'm going to do this and I'll just review it. So uh, you have m millions of rails and stuff on here. You have your top rail where you can put a scope on and be really cool. Yeah, this one where I suppose they want you to put a shield so your scope can see through it. You've got a bottom rail that you can attach the grip and stuff. Then you've got something to put your stock onto. And you've also got a front elite barrel attachment point. Something like that, okay? With And then when you put this on, you get an extra rail on top and an extra rail on the bottom. And after this, you have an access door right here, which after you've done that, after you've opened it, you can't rev or fire. Same with the magazine. If you don't have the magazine, you can't rev or fire, sadly. I just want to see how it works. That's the reason I said sadly. So, yeah, now, now I'll go over all the other parts. Oh, yeah. Also, there's a little iron, iron sight there. It's cool, but you can't really see it up here, if you know what I mean. Like, you can't see anything. So now we'll go over all the separate attachments. This barrel, I think, is actually one of the coolest things I've ever seen for modulars. Just because she has, like, of everything that you need, really. You have top bar you have a top rail, bottom rail. You have another, like, attachment point. She can, like, make loads in a circle and try and shoot a dart round it all. That would be pretty cool. And then you can also attach it to another blaster, so yeah. You also have this scope, which I think is alright, but I do prefer the red dart that we just did. No, th that we did last time. Yeah, that was alright, but then it's decent. They've like made it look like you can adjust it and you can spin this, so it's fine, but yeah. <laughs> I've also I've already done the grip. Uh, now the last one that we have is the stock oh yeah and I'll do this one is the stock and as I've already showed you sadly you can take this out and put an extra magazine in and then just pretend it's a gun pew 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 oh no it fell out ah I'm dead yeah it's pretty cool it's a bit just a bit bendy if you know what I mean ooh, 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 like ooh, 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 ooh. It's trying to bend around corners ah uh, yeah <laughs> it's good for extra storage but I just think it gets in the way <laughs> And then I forgot I forgot to do, this, to, to do this actually, but on the actual rack blaster, of course you've got the rev button here, and you can get a res if I had the magazine in. Then this is just your normal firing button, which of course I can't. Put, I might be able to. Nope, can't. Now I'll go over the magazine. It's all right, but I think from about here to there, it's all, no, from about there to here, it's all wasted space. It's only the spring. You could probably fit another three or four darts in there and make it like a fourteen banana clip, which I think would be a lot better. But I suppose. It could, it couldn't be bothered to do anything else. So when I put it back in, I will now move on to the firing demo. So see you in a minute. So guys, I'm going to be shooting the modular TCS 10 against like that wall right there. You didn't know that wall. Okay, here we go. They are terrible ones. That was the firing, and I'll come back with the chronograph readings. Yeah, I'm posh like that. Pretty much.
to just the posh word for say, how fast will it come out of the barrel? Yeah. So guys, now onto the chronograph readings. When I was firing this, I let the actual flywheels rev up and then shot it. So it was like five seconds, shoot. Five seconds, shoot. Five seconds. Did that about 10, 15 times, I've forgotten now. And I got an average of 72 FPS, which is pretty much what you expect out of a Nerf Blaster, if you know what I mean. So yeah. And it took me it took me a while to find decent darts. Like this one's cracked. It's not even like I have so many bad ones. I've had been using Nerf since for about two years and they're just everywhere. <laughs> So guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then smash that like button. Hit it with the modulus ECS 10. Yeah. So yeah, hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to, cause who wouldn't want to? To me. Woo! I'm the best boy. So <laughs> I'll see you later, people. Also hit that bell if you want to. Yeah, that'll be fine with me. Thanks. Bye! Oh yeah, I need to do my signature! I always do it at the end of my videos. Bye!